So I want to just make a quick video just to kind of share some thoughts about this uh, parable in the uh, book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 14 onwards. It's about the talents. And I'm going to read it to you. And when he says the word talents, he's not talking about uh, like things you're able to do, like as in sing well or whatever. It's talking about money that we call talents. So, uh, but you can take it as things you're capable of doing that God has given you and the ability to do. But let's read it and, uh, and then I'll bring up the key points that I wanted to bring up. Jesus says, For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. So first of all, you see that it's talking about what the kingdom of heaven is like. So this is how the kingdom of heaven functions. And that's a deep thing to be looking at. And he talks about uh, these servants. So this kingdom of heaven uh, is like a man traveling to a far country. So he's leaving. But he called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. So he's got some servants and he told them, you guys deal with my stuff while I'm gone. Remember, Jesus leaves and has gone up to heaven physically by his spirit. He lives inside of us, but physically he is there. And he told us to, as my father sent me, I send you. So he sends us to, to continue the work he's doing. Preach the gospel, love people, feed the, feed the hungry, clothe the, those who don't have clothing, you know, uh, pray for the sick, cast out demons, all this kind of stuff, all of it together. Um, so we were to continue what he was doing on this earth. And of course, it's by his power and by the power of his name and the authority in his name that these things, the supernatural things can still happen. But he continues and says, I called his own servants and delivered them his goods to them. And to one, verse 15, and to one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on his journey. Now, I just want to emphasize another thing. Everything that he gave to them was according to what they were able to do. So he, God gives us the ability to actually accomplish the things that he calls us to do. So that's what you've got to get out of that as well, to realize that we can't say we was too much for us or it wasn't something that I had the ability to do. And so this is what God does. He's, the things he calls us to do is because he's given us all of the, also the ability to do it. Um, verse 16, Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. Remember, Jesus is coming again, second coming. And everyone's going to be judged according to the works they did. He says that in the Bible. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents saying, Lord, you have delivered to me five talents, but I have gained five more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who had received two talents, came and said to the Lord, You delivered me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. So look how he rewards them both the same way, even though one had five and one had two, and they doubled it. Um, the point is he still gives them the same response, still the same uh, you know, gratefulness and come receive um, your reward, come into the glory of the Lord. Um, he doesn't get something extra because he made five more and he doesn't get less because he made two more because everyone was doing, they were faithful with their ability, with what they were able to do, with what they had in their hands. They did it. Um, then he who had received the one talent, verse 24, came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what's yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers. And at my coming, 
I would have received back my own with its interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given. And he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. And cast that unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So I want to just emphasize what the first thing is this. Um, many times through my Christian life, I hear people say, oh, you know, even at a funeral, oh, God's going to say to this man who just died, uh, well done, my good and faithful servant. Or they were just in church and the preacher saying, oh, you know, Jesus, when you finish your race, you'll say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And he says this for everybody, that it's a fact that that's what he's going to say to everybody. But that's taking it out of context. Why? Because he doesn't just talk, a, he doesn't just say that for everybody. He doesn't just say, uh, well done, my good and faithful servant to those 21 that's a Christian. That wasn't the point. The point is, he says, well done, my good and faithful servant to those who actually done good in serving. They served and done what they needed to do uh, with what they were given in their hands and the ability they had. They, they were faithful to that. That's why they were good and faithful servants. So not everyone's going to be called, well done, my good and faithful servant, just because we're believers or Christians. That's what I wanted to uh, emphasize on and just remind us on. And uh, it's good just to check ourselves, you know, and choose to say, okay, What's in, what's in my hands? What's the abilities I have? So it's not about the money. What's the abilities you have that God can use, that you can use for God, that you can use to make a difference in this world, uh, that God would want you to do? And stop making excuses. Stop procrastinating. Just say yes. Make steps. Let's all do it. I've been guilty of not stepping into some of the things that I've been given to do in my hands. So I'm not talking at you or down at you. I'm reminding us to come on. Let's Let's leave something behind. Let's... Be faithful with the things God gave us in His hands, which were never meant to be just for us to hide them. It was meant to be for us to release them into this earth, into this world, and be used by God um, to spread what He has given us, multiply what He has given us. Okay. And I'll just give you just a couple of examples. You, you might, maybe it is you making videos like this. Maybe it is you releasing a song. Maybe it is you writing uh, a book. Uh, it, it could be anything. It, it doesn't have to be um, narrow what you think is the thing that God wants us all to do. Just be go to God and let Him show you the different things that are in your hands. And it doesn't have to look like somebody else's thing because maybe those, that person was given five. Maybe you were given one. Just be faithful with that one. And God loves that you're being faithful with that one. You're not wasting what He gave to you. So I want to to emphasize and remind us that there was also the lazy servant, the lazy, wicked servant. So because he was lazy, he was being wicked because he was not using what was never his to hide. He was given some things to give out into this world. So let's uh, recheck ourselves and uh, be people that are good and faithful servants. Okay, take care.